Hey y'all, how are y'all doing today? Well, I want to do a video on what I got in my bug out bag, my survival kit that I have. Now you can do a survival kit any way you want to and how you want to set it up. This is the way I have it. Now I'm not an expert, but this is what I like to have in mind. Um, so let me show you. Okay, so my first, my first aid kit is right here on this pack. I don't want to go all the way through it. I have Israeli bandages that you can buy on uh, Amazon. I have uh, tourniquets, that way if you get a, you gotta be able to make holes, you gotta be able to plug holes. This is one way, if you get shot, you put a tourniquet on it and stop the bleeding. So I got them. Now, what's very important on your bug out bag is having cordage. So I have, um, I've got my, my different cordage, um, some zip ties, some fishing line, uh, some paracord, some twine, um, and some Gorilla uh, duct tape. So that's my cordage. Um, I have my live straws for water. So the live straws, you can directly go to the water, to a creek or whatever, or, or a lake, and you can actually use these and drink right out of the lake without having to boil your water. And in the next video, I will show you how this works, and I will actually drink some dirty water and show y'all guys in a cup of how good it does with that. But that'll be the next video I'll do. This today's just the one on the survival kit. So I got two of them, two life straws. They're about $15, $20 a piece. You can get them on Amazon. I got a little cooking set. The little cooking set is to cook on the fire or whatever, you know, if you catch a fish or whatever you wanna do, you can cook on it. Also over here on my pack, I have my canteen. Now it's stainless steel. I like stainless steel because if I have to boil water, I can boil it. If you get a, a canteen that's plastic, you can't boil water in it. So that's why mine's stainless steel. Um, when it comes to a blanket, this is a, like a 80 or 90% wool blanket. So if it gets wet, it dries out real good and it's very durable and it keeps you very warm and it dries out super quick. So that's something uh, that I have in my pack. I got a mosquito net because I live in Florida. You got to have a mosquito net because you get ate up by mosquitoes. This is something that kind of covers your face and keeps the mosquitoes off your face. That's something extra. You don't really have to have that. Um, right here is a couple little things I got. I got a compass right here, a military style compass. Um, I've got a knife sharpener. I got little tools for my gun, for my ARs and little island wrenches that I have to have for my scopes and stuff for my guns. Um, I've got a little kit here made uh, with fishing line and hooks and sinkers and matches and stuff so it's kind of a little all-purpose and it's and it's uh protected where it won't get wet got another little container it's got hooks and sinkers in it right here this is a visine bottle i took the visine because i had just a little bit left i squirted out cleaned it out real good and i put rubbing alcohol this is good to make a fire and this is also good if you get a cut to clean a cut out with so it's got a couple different purposes um, right here i got flashlights i got a head flashlight that goes on your head that way you're, when you're working, you can have your hands free. I got a little tiny stream light right here that's pretty bright. And uh, these get kind of expensive. Stream lights are really good flashlights, but they're expensive. I got batteries because I have uh, scopes and I got flashlights that need batteries. So I carry, I have extra. Uh, my flashlight, my main flashlight, I don't have with me. It's on my gun. And I can take it off my gun and use it as a regular flashlight, or I can use it on my gun with the compression uh, switch on it. Um, my fire kit, my fire kit, I got a little, uh, some fat wood, uh, and you got your, you know, your striking uh, ferro rod and all that, and some cotton and a little bit of uh, aluminum foil and stuff like that. Aluminum foil is good with them batteries because I can start a fire with that aluminum foil and a battery, and I can actually start a fire that way. So this is one way of making a fire. And then I have a little container right here, a little waterproof container I got at Walmart or somewhere. And it's got a couple lighters in it, a couple Q-tips, some more cotton, and I got a little, little another lighter here. Now that won't last forever, of course. It'll run out, you know, over time. But it's good to have backups when it comes to stuff like that. Now my knife that I also got that's on my um, plate carrier with my uh, AR500 plate that's in the house, I have a big fixed knife there too, and it comes with a ferro rod that you can strike the the knife with it to make a fire. Right here, I got some uh, MREs mills ready to eat uh, military style they're the same thing the military has i got them that'll get me where i'm going now this this ain't gonna last me forever either but this will get me where i'm going so i make a camp and can hunt and fish or whatever i need to do to get food 
Um, since my since food's kind of bland and stuff you're hunting is kind of bland, um, I got a little thing I got from Walmart. It's got salt, pepper, uh, garlic salt, uh, cayenne pepper. It's got a bunch of different things. I want it to have a little flavor when I'm cooking stuff, so I bought this. It's kind of a cheap thing. Uh, a fork and knife set. That's good when you're cooking in your pan and then you're eating and stuff. It's a little cheap thing you can buy. And over here I bought some seeds. Uh, them seeds right there, there's 20,000 seeds in it. And they're all vegetable seeds. They're um, heirloom seeds. Uh, it's a kit that you can buy on Amazon too. And, it, and it's real cheap. And it's got all the vegetables in it. So when you get to where you're going and you need to grow some vegetables and stuff like that, you can take them and grow them right there. Over here, I have my tarp. This is my survival tarp. It's got everything in it. It's got all your, everything you need to do it. And it's a, it's a really big tarp. It's real good size. Uh, but it all packs into a little bag. And it's very handy. Um, now my pack all together with everything added in, it's probably about 50 pounds. Um, I know that I can carry 50 pounds. I'm a big guy, so 50 pounds on my back isn't very much. Uh, as you see here, there's nothing with ammo. So I have none, that ain't counting my ammo. So if I put ammo into this pack, I'm looking, at, you know, going way up higher. Uh, but this is just survival stuff without the, the bullets and the guns. Um, so the next thing I have is I got that uh, machete, that cold steel machete, and it's What's cool about it is, it's, it looks like a samurai sword, or not a samurai, but like a katana. Now it's real, real sharp, and it's really durable, and it's really made good. It ain't like the cheap ones you get at Walmart. And it's actually a really good one, and I paid good money for it, but I liked it. I liked the style it was, and it, it actually works real good. I've used it before. Um, so that's my machete that I carry. Um, I got a fixed blade knife right here. It's a cold steel knife too. And it's got the Tanto blade on it. Uh, and it's very durable knife, so I can use that. Now this is a Gurkha knife. And this I bought from, uh, years ago I bought it uh, from an uh, online website. And this knife was actually made in uh, Nepal. Now if you look at it, all it is, the blade is, it's a, it's a leaf spring. That's what it is, you know. Uh, they just made it into a, a like a knife, but this right here is really thick and it's a chopper. You can chop limbs. You can you, like an axe can. You can use this thing. You chop limbs. You can chop a tree down with it. And it's very thick and it's very durable. Uh, these things right now run kind of expensive. The last time I looked at one, they were like now it's a couple of days ago. It was like ninety dollars for one of these things. Uh, but they're very durable and they're very well made, and that's why I like it. I like stuff that lasts. Uh, so that's just some of my stuff. Oh, also I got um, on my first aid kit, I got a knife that's made by a company called Havilon. Now Havilon makes scalpels for the doctors. And what it is, it's, a, it's like a razor knife, but it's got interchangeable blades, like for a scalpel that you can actually skin a, an animal with. And it's got little tiny pieces right here where you can switch out the blades to sterile blades. Now I figured I like this thing because if I have to, if I got to make a little cut on my arm or a little incision, it can do that. If I need to skin a, an animal, it'll do that. It comes with extra blades and it's always good to have fingernail clippers with you uh, to cut line or to actually, uh, if you got a fingernail, it's got a hangnail or something like that. So I got little fingernail clippers in there with it, but that can help me if I ever need it for uh, like a medical use, if I need to cut something or whatever, that's what I have that for. Um, my kit it's just stuff I've put together. You really don't have to have certain stuff. Um, you can you can do the basics, your five C's, which is like your cordage, uh, your container for water, your cover, uh, you know, uh, your fire starter, and then like uh, your cutlery, which is your knives. So that's really all you need is five. Now they do make, uh, you can do a kit to where you'll have the 10 C's. So that's, it makes it a lot bigger. But this is pretty much basic what's in my pack and it kind of covers all the different uh, needs that I have and that I'm going to put in my pack and it just covers the basics. Now my first aid kit, it's got everything. It's got medicine, I've got uh, blood stop in it, I've got band-aids, I've got antiseptic wipes, I've got uh, everything you need in my first aid kit. Now not only do I have a first aid kit here, but I actually have a battle belt that has a first aid kit that goes on my leg. 
right here. So I have actually two. One that I can get too fast if I get shot or cut, I can get to it myself. This one's here is if it's on my back and I get hurt and somebody comes up, they can grab this pack here and that's actually a first aid kit that somebody can actually use on me if I need it or whatever. Um, so it's a lot of different, I got some binoculars of course, so I can be able to see, you know, binoculars. And uh, so this is my kit. Kits are gonna vary. Uh, people's got a lot of opinions when it comes to, uh, to kits of what you're wanting and what you're needing to do. Also in the environment you live in. I live in Florida, so mine wouldn't be as warm. I would set mine up as warm as it would if I lived in like North Carolina, Ohio. I would have to think about that. So my environment, this is fine for my, my environment. Now your environment is gonna change depending on where you live and what you need to get out of it. Mine's a very basic kit. I got camo here for your face where you can put camo on your face. I've got another little blanket. You can buy these little blankets, they're really cheap. You know, uh, these little thermal blankets, they're real, real light. Uh, so it depends on how you want to set it up. As long as you cover the basics and then you want to go a little bit above and beyond that, that's fine. Like I said, mine doesn't have bullets in my kit and I don't have a gun in my kit. That will be actually on me. I, ha I have a plate carrier with my clips that'll go in my body, that'll go on the plate carrier, like uh, my AR. And then I have a spot for my firearm, my side firearm, which is a pistol, nine millimeter. Uh, that I'll carry there. Now, when it comes to ammo, I got a lot of ammo. So if I got to where I, I would only, I would probably have to put some on me and have to carry some a little bit, get it where I'm going and hide it in different spots. That way, if somebody came up on me, they wouldn't steal everything I got. You don't want to sit all your stuff in one area. If somebody comes up, they can steal everything you got. You got nothing. So you would want to hide that out. And I have ammo cans that I got all my ammo in. So I'd actually put it in different parts out in the parts out in the woods and hide it. That way, nobody can run up and just take anything I got. Um, but this kit, I've worked it over the years. I've moved it around. I've I've went through it uh, just to just to give me, you know, a little bit of everything. And um, you know, uh, when it comes to money, you can spend a lot of money on these kits, y'all. Uh, it depends on what you want to do. You know, you can make one very basic to where it fits in a little a little bag like this for a first aid kit. I want something with some size to it because I want to I want to be living good out there. If I go go in the woods, I want to live kind of comfortably. So I got uh, a little bit of everything in my kit. Um, there's different variances of this stuff you can do. Uh, this is I'm just showing you mine. Mine's pretty basic. Um, also, you got to think about weight because if you're Somebody that can't carry a lot of weight, you know, I'm a big guy, so I can carry a lot of weight. I'm strong enough to do it. So if you're a person that's a little older and, the, and you know, uh, carrying a pack that's heavy, it's gonna wear you down. So if it's, if you, if you get in that situation, you gotta think about, is it worth me carrying this, something this heavy in my pack that makes my pack weigh a lot more? You might wanna have something that's lighter and you don't have to have all this extra stuff. I have some extra stuff. Really, only I have to have. Really, have to have five. I only have to have five, y'all. Your cover, your container, your cutlery, your fire starting stuff, and then uh, your cordage. So that's the only thing you gotta have. Everything else that's extra, that's just extra for you to have. But the only thing you gotta have is five. Now you can go to a ten C, which would give you a lot even more. Uh, but you know, it depends on what you want and set it up how you want in your environment. You know, down here in Florida, it's hot. So I don't need a lot of warm stuff because it's pretty much hot all year round. Uh, we got a little problems with mosquitoes and no seams. If you're by the ocean, you're gonna have no seams that'll bite the heck out of you. Uh, if you're in the woods, the mosquitoes gonna bite you. Uh, you can kind of you can kind of keep the mosquitoes off with some Spanish moss on the fire. It kind of smokes a little bit, or uh, take a little mud and rub on you. It keeps the mosquitoes from biting you. Mosquitoes love any kind of thing that smells good, like soap that smells good or perfume. You get out in the woods with it. You're basically bringing the mosquitoes to you in light colored clothing. If you wear a white shirt out in the woods where I live, uh, you pretty much you're gonna mos mosquito magnet. They're gonna come straight at you. Uh, so just think about what you want to put in your pack. Like I said, uh, this is just the basic pack that I have that fits me comfortably. I have another flashlight that goes with this, but these are the two little ones I have. I have one on my gun. Uh, I got two first aid kits. One here, the one that'll go on my leg at the time I need it. Um, buy you some good knives, buy you some good stuff. 
I like the knife sharpener because I can sharpen my knives. And this knife sharpener here, you can go on Amazon. It's called Speedy Sharp. And buddy, this right here, this this knife sharpener, you can sharpen an axe with it. This thing right here is awesome, and it's strong, and uh, it works really well for sharpening your knives. But make sure you're bringing what you need to survive on because this is all you got when you get in the woods. Uh, of course, you know, you can pick up stuff as you go and make stuff work, but make sure you got something to get you there. That's why I only got two MREs because pretty much I'm not going to bring a whole backpack full of MREs and live off of MREs for the rest of my life. That won't happen. That's just to get me where I'm going and give me some energy and some food into me and some calories. That way I can get to where I'm going, that I can fish, hunt. Uh, if I'm there for a long time, I can grow, you know, my vegetables. But these vegetables, it comes with everything. Y'all, you go on Amazon, it comes with everything. And there's seeds all in there. And it grows, uh, it says it grows 1,300 pounds of food. Easy to grow, no GMOs, no hybrids. And they're heirloom seeds. So when they produce fruit or vegetables, they will act, you'll be able to use the seeds off of the fruits and vegetables to grow more. A lot of the seeds that you buy that are cheap seeds, you can't do that. It'll only grow that fruit, and then the, the seeds that you get out of there, you won't be able to regrow something. So make sure you buy you something like that. That's good to have, and it's a lot of seeds. But uh, this is my kit. I'm going to do another video to show you actually how a live straw works. And uh, I want you to see that because them things are cool. And about 15 bucks, you can get them on Amazon. And um, I'll actually do a video on them and let y'all see me actually try it. And, and I'll give you my opinion of, of what it, what it's, if it works, because I've never tried one. Um, but we'll see what it does on the next video. Y'all take care. I love you. Watch your six. Tell anybody you love out there you love them. Um, this ain't a politic one day today. This is just a, a kit to show you what I have and what I like. Um, so take care. Watch yourself. And I'll catch you later. See you.